made headlines when you were controversially dropped from Hollyoaks, but sort of you received a lot of fan backing from that sort of one. How do you reflect on that situation now and how much did it mean for you to receive that fan support at the time? Oh my God, well it was huge. The whole situation was sort of um, a bit of a whirlwind for me. I, as much as anyone else, didn't expect um, what happened to happen. Um, and so it was really important for me to receive the support that I did and the continued support. I think it's been so nice that uh, you, people have sort of spoken out for me and have supported me. And what's nice is that I've been able to sort of continue that messaging and been able to actually go, it's time for me to take control. And that means that everyone else can do that as well and, and be that spokesperson and sort of um, pave the way for other women to stand their ground and, and do the same thing. And so what are you working on now and what's, what's coming up in the future? So I'm still doing OnlyFans, which I'm still loving and it's still going really, really well. And it's just given me sort of creative freedom and control. And um, it's been amazing. I, I, you know, I can't knock it at all. Um, I've got her podcast called Hot and Bothered. So I'm currently recording season two of that. And that's out on Apple and Spotify and everywhere you can get podcasts. Um, and that's been great. I've just been speaking to guests about taboo subjects. And again, just opening up those conversations um, and using my platform for that. And then I partnered with some amazing brands over the last um, nearly two years now, which is crazy. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's opened lots of doors and given me lots of opportunities and, um, and also given me a lot of time back which I've not had for a long time and in a position where I've been able to make choices based on what I want to do rather than financial which is really nice as well.